Welcome to the Animal Kingdom's golf game, roll in one. Let's jump into a quick setup of the game and then hit some balls. Each player will get a random character, each with their own set of special abilities or game effects. Decide before the game if playing with these abilities or not. Shuffle the caddy cards and deal two to each player. Roll the eight-sided die to see who gets to play first, and you're ready to tee off. The first player will now place the tee tile in the center of the table and then add some tiles to create the perfect hole to match his character or caddy cards in hand. Each tile counts as adding one part to the hole. Once done, they will put the green somewhere on the course. We now have the first hole to play on. During a game, you will play as many holes as there are players. So in a three player game, you'll play three different holes, each created by a different player. Now let's take a look at gameplay. The first player will tee off by first choosing a die, which represents a different club. So the putter will have less sides and won't get you far, while the wood will drive your ball further across the hole. You can see the clubs in this rule book or behind your character cards. You can use the extra characters as a summary sheet as well. Once you've chosen a die, roll it and see what happens. If you roll a number, move it one space forward. Then roll the die again and again until the ball stops. The ball can stop a number of ways. It can stop if you roll a number equal to or lower than the previous number. It can also stop if you roll a triangle when your ball is on top of trees. If you roll dots like these, your ball will move forward that many spaces and then stop. If you roll an arrow, your ball will curve in a direction of your choosing. These are found on the wedge and the four iron. When your ball stops, the next player takes their turn in the same manner. Once a player reaches the green, the hole ends. But players who did not take a turn this hole can take one turn to maybe try and get a hole in one, or get as close to the green as possible. Pass the first player marker to the next player, and they will create their next hole and so on. Now let's take a look at terrain. If you start in sand, you don't move on your first roll. If you're in trees, mid-flight, and you roll a triangle, your ball stops there. If you land in a fairway, you move one additional space, but these do not affect dots. Water simply gives you a penalty token if you land in it, and the rough has nothing special to it. Now for the caddy cards. You get two at the start of the game, and then draw one at the start of each hole. These are one-time special ability cards that you can play on your turn, and only before or after a roll. Here's a few of them to give you an idea of what they do. There are rules like going out of bound and ball collisions, but you get the idea. Once each player has created and played through all holes, the game ends and we calculate points on this pad. The player with the less stroke wins the game. Rolling One is a fun, quick, easy to learn golf game. It's travel friendly and it's a relaxing game, just like real golf. You can also play solo, camping mode, or add some of the variant rules included in this rulebook. Enjoy a relaxing game of golf with friends and family, and go check out their Kickstarter page for more information. And as always, if you like it, back it. Enjoyed our review? Like the video and subscribe. You can also find us on social media like Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching, until next time.